Hello, this is Kasim Kulov and welcome to my Logo Modernism series. Where I'll be randomly picking a logo from this famous book and try to redraw it in Illustrator. Today I will draw Nortex Steel logo by Paul Brand located on page 141. I will not use fill and for the stroke I will use round cap and round join. I will also be using grid line every 128 pixels with 4 subdivisions. Enable view grid and snap to grid options. Just for reference I will use a rectangle with a height 4 times bigger than its width. Select your pen tool and draw the left part of the logo. Draw a circle like so. We will not use the bottom part of the circle, so we will delete it. Fix position of the stroke and round these corners. Copy the shape and flip it vertically and horizontally. Now we can delete the reference rectangle. Select both shapes and make sure that the bounding box height and width are equal. If you join the strokes, you will notice that the resulting shape is not what we want. We will need to draw a line that is tangent to curves. For that, let's cut it and rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. Put the line's end to the center of the curve and make a copy underneath. Let's delete unnecessary extensions of the line. Select your Shape Builder tool and delete unnecessary parts. Let's hide the grid and disable Snap. Select Pen tool and join the strokes. Now you can increase the stroke weight to a value of your own choice. And finally you can outline the stroke and apply a pathfinder command. And there it is, a perfect logo with the same height and width values. Please note that the purpose of this video is not to create an exact copy. It's rather an approximation to help you understand how you can design great logos that stand the test of time. Thanks for watching and if there is another logo that you want me to redraw from this book, just leave a comment.